Guys, the magic mail has gotten way out of hand. It's like I'm some kind of first-rate hoarder. Lounge fly, pins, vintage. <sighs> Let's not waste any time. Hurry back. Just an 80s boy and a 90s teen. Going on all things Disney. From house to parks and in between. Come share the magic with me. La, 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 la. Share Jake's Disney Afternoon. Hey Disney Afternoon gang, welcome back to my channel and thanks for returning. If you're new here, my name is Jake and I do all kinds of Disney content including subscription boxes, swaps, hauls, pins, vintage trips, trivia. If it's Disney, we're doing it. So you're going to want to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next Disney adventure. All right, I have had magic mail piling up that I'm filming like this in triplicate just to get stuff put away finally on my boards, on the walls, wherever it's got to go. It's got to get out of the way when I get up to pee in the morning. All right, so where do we want to start? All right, let's start with a couple of pins here. So this is from Christy Cat Pins, who I have bought from before does some sales and uh, says thank you for your purchase i hope you enjoy your kin pins your kins uh go follow her over at christy cat pins and oh yes ah this was on a sale where things were being like marked down and i love a good markdown sale um these are some vintage pins i don't know what the real story is on these uh, let's see, three million. It must have been three million for the Disney Channel, um, but I have like a little TV animation kind of entertainment uh, collection, and look how perfectly these guys are going to fit in. So you've got this. It says three, uh, three million strong. Just says three million on there uh, at the top, and then we've got the classic sort of '90s logo. I love the history and the nostalgia of these. And this one says the Disney Channel, America's favorite network. So I didn't have the Disney Channel growing up, but my mom babysat some friends of ours for a while. And they were all girls and about my sister's age. And they had the Disney Channel and the dad had like a man cave. So they'd all go to work and we would go to their house to watch them in the summer. Girls would play out back in the pool. I'd be there from like 9 to 5 watching the Disney Channel. So this brings back uh, so many retro vibes. So that is such a cool deal. And 10 bucks. I mean, we're going to get any kind of pin, just one for 10 bucks. So definitely go check out Christy Katz pins. All right, let's get into this one. This is from Jen Tr Trone, who contacted me on Instagram. And I've known for a little bit and was out vintage shopping. You know, I got the vintage shoppers trained. They uh, they spot stuff in the wild for me and uh, asked if I wanted these. I love collecting these. Of course, you know my Wuzzles obsession. Of course, I have these. But I love adding more of them. These were in excellent shape. Uh, and I was glad to get these. I have to take a look because I don't remember them... I was pretty sure they're all a different color. So, you know, one of the things we collectors look out for is like weird variants that are out there, factory defects. Those kind of make it fun. I'm gonna have to do a little um a little checking because I wonder this is also not the same cover. I wonder if this was like a Canadian book that drifted down into the States. Alright, you think I would know by now, but my brain is so overwhelmed with Wuzzle. So thank you, Jen, for sending those over to me. That was awesome. I've been on the lookout. She asked me to look out at a Daiso for some fabric she was looking for. I found some of it. But if any of y'all are in a Daiso and see that um, Seven Dwarfs fabric that they've had for a while, contact me. I, uh, I want to get it for Jen as I continue. Thank you for that. All right, let's do... All right, so this... Guys, listen. The... The double up on the buying of the pins when you've forgotten what you've had, it's bad. It's bad. And you're going to see it in three seconds here what I mean. So uh, um, look how cool that stationery is. So this come, this one's from Mary Beth. Um, 
And Mary Beth is awesome. Um, she, I've known for a long time, big supporter of the channel. They go to, uh, I think they were just at D23, um, talking with Lauren about me. Guys, you're at D23, talk about something better. Um, but she's done some pickups and is always on the lookout. And she said, Jake, I hope you enjoy your new pins. I know the timing of the pin event is rough for a teacher, but hope you can attend next year. I got to get to some pin events this year. That is a goal for sure. We met Marcy Mouse. Oh, I'm so jealous. I love the Marster. She's exactly the same as she is in her sales. That is great to know. Very fun. Thank you for entertaining us through the dark days of the pandemic. Mary Beth and her daughter Maggie, and they are just fantastic. Um, it has been my pleasure. I appreciate your support and your thinking of me all the time. So they went and grabbed cat. Stop eating the plastic. Papers. Um, all right, so let's start with this. Oh, let's not start with that. Just kidding. Okay, I had to I had to regroup for a minute. All right, so this was a pin set that was released at the um, what was the pin event called? Friends and family. Okay, that's not what it was called. Something, something in family. Um, that there were definitely some releases that I just had to have. And they were gracious enough to pick them up for me. So, the, uh, what was it called? Oh, One Family. Ah, say it or something, family. Um, these are bigger than I thought they would be. Um, this is the One Family uh, pin event of uh, Oliver and Company. So, you've got Francis and Georgette, Tito, Dodger, and Oliver. And they've got these chains. Um, and the reason I didn't open the other thing first was they had... I got to remember how this whole situation works because... It was such a whirlwind of thought that I was like, okay, let's just let's just get it. But they had these like bars that you also got, and I guess you hang it from it. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Um, but they they had these also. Maybe this. Oh, yeah. There's something with this. I don't really know. So here's like the bar, and see how like there's like those things with the holes. Do you like hang the pins from them like they're dog leashes? One, two, three, four, five, one, two. All right, you're gonna have to remind me how to like do this. So anyway, these were sold to, separately. Um, and I feel like I remember hearing people having trouble getting these. I can't remember. Mary Beth and Maggie, you guys are amazing. Thank you for thinking of me and for braving the crowds. Um, I appreciate it. Now, Jake does a foolish thing every now and again. Well, I do a lot of foolish things, but some of them I approve of and have go into knowing. So Francis over at Dream Finding with Francis, who is another one who likes to spend my money. And uh, she she knows all the things and boom comes a post, boom comes a post, boom comes a post. And it's all the things that I want. Um, she offered to go pick me up a set. And I had forgotten, I don't know who came first between uh, Mary Beth and Francis. But I was like, yeah, get me a set. So now I've got two sets. So that's possibly open for trade. I'm not sure. Um, I am grateful to both of you for picking that up for me. Thank you, Francis. Um, keep spending my money because sure, you're finding me all the things. Also, Francis picked up for me one other additional thing that I don't have, except that I think I brought this, bought this from Diana over at Dream 499 Pids also. That's another whole box of pin stuff that I got to get to another day, and today's not the one. So I guess we're going to have to find out together. But this is from the same event. Uh, and it's Beauty and the Beast. It's pin on pin with a little like rubber element that says croissant. Uh, featuring my boy Lumiere, which you know he's one of my main character collections from Beauty and the Beast. Um, and it's pin on pin, you can kind of see. It. And the croissant is like this uh, rubbery, you know, whatever 3D element. Very cool pin. So, Francis, thanks for also getting that. Okay. Let that be the least of the doubles for now. 
All right, this next one is from Nicole Smith. She reached out to me and we did a trade. I think I traded her for Rescuers Down Under or something. And she sent this really cute card with uh, Lucifer. Thank you so much for the trade. I love all of your videos. Hope to trade again, Nicole. Thank you for your support. I so appreciate it. Thank you for reaching out. Now I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna get some backlash for this pin because I made fun of it at first. I may be making fun of it still now. You know I hate characters as things like milkshakes and purses and perfume bottles. Just not my thing. Uh, they released this like little cutie series. And when Nicole reached out, I kind of looked a second time and I was like, okay, they're not characters as things. They are dressed up in Halloween costumes, which makes it less twee, shall we say. So, I got Dumbo as the apple. <sighs> Go ahead. Read me for filth in the comments. I can handle it. I'm a big boy. Yeah, I probably got to get more of those. All right, Nicole. Thank you for that. Amazing. A uh, couple things from Shop Disney, who sent this little magic mailbag in the giantest box imaginable. Um, so, you know, I used to prize Disney for their efficiency, but, okay. Um, so let's open these very quickly so that we're not here all, all day. Um, these are just some new releases I just kind of have to get every once in a while. They come out with the stuff and you're like, let me just get it now before it goes crazy. So this is the, ooh, shiny. Uh, this is the D, D23. This is, the, uh, Take 1400. This is DuckTales, the sketchbook. Um, and there's an ornament coming that I may or may not have ordered uh, that matches that design. So, you know, lots of Disney afternoon love coming this year, guys. Wait till you see some of the new pin releases that are on the horizon and maybe more yet to come. Uh, this is Walrus and the Carpenter, which is one of my very favorite sequences from Alice in Wonderland. Love those two characters. So any chance I can get to add... Um, the Random Fellas. Speaking of the Random Fellas from Alice in Wonderland, two of my other favorites, the Walrus and the Carpenter, or the Taste of the Curious Oysters. Oh, love these guys so much. The wackiness of that cartoon just makes me happy. And then finally, this is another sketchbook one. I don't think I got this ornament, but this is Bernard and Bianca on Wilbur or Orville, however you want to look at it. This one is, you know, it's definitely a nod to uh, the original Rescuers, which I collect Rescuers down under, but anytime it's a little bit vague, I, I make the exception. So, and then before we get into some lounge fly real quick, because I finally got a grail bag, you guys, that I've been after for a little minute and just... Lauren sent me some pins. Now, Lauren, I know I owe you some pins for this, and I can't really remember what I'm supposed to do. I'm a really bad trader, I have to say it. I got to get better at it, but I'm a bad trader. Bad trader. Okay, so, card. Uh, <laughs> so, this is Medusa and uh, Snoops, uh, and it says, Jake, you bungler. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Dear Jake, because I adore you, thanks for all your support. Lauren, internet hugs. I love you, my friend. Um, thank you for that. Uh, I don't even remember what this is, although I think I kind of have a vague idea, and I probably owe you. I'll make good on it, I swear. I swear I will. Aha. So these are two more of the pink a la mode pins that I did not, the puzzle puzzle the uh poster pins that i do not have so this is uh, sleeping beauty and uh, another princess we've got classic cinderella here i don't know where i'm at in finishing this collection one two three four five six seven maybe out of wasn't there like 18 or something so i got a little minute to go but lauren thank you for sending this to me I'll make good on it, I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. 
All right, and then finally, we've got this big box here from Loungefly. And before I get into the bag itself, let's, oh, I just caught a glimpse of the bag, hang tight. Uh, I got three pins from there, because they were having a bit of a sale. Uh, I got another of the gummy bears. That's gonna go into a giveaway I'm collecting for. More on that, but we gotta hit some more subscribers, so go spread the good word. Um, this is the uh, Star Wars Ewok show from the cartoon, and I remember watching this show, and uh, it wasn't like I was the biggest fan of it, but the nostalgia of it is really cool, so, and it was on Super Sale, so I had to snag that, and then this giant Alice in Wonder pin book, which I don't think was on sale. I don't like that rattly rat. All right, well, we're gonna have to inspect when we when I open that, but that is so cool. And it features my iris and the rest of the flowers. Ugh, limited edition 500. You know what pin I have to get from Loungefly? They just released a mouser size pin. Okay, all right, so we've got, this was on sale. Oh, and you know I love the cosplay. Here, cat, have a box. Have a box, baby. There you go. You know I love the cosplay bags better than the pattern bags. Um, the pattern bags just kind of bore me a little bit, although I've got some of them, and there are some I do like, but I really love the characterness of the cosplay bags. And when this one first came out, the number of people that tagged me or sent me the post was... Indicative that uh, I'm true to who I am. Man, that's a really nice bag. You ready? I've got the dirty thumb. This. All right, that feels a little crookedy to me. Oh, maybe because it's that. Okay, so you've got fur. I mean, these are so impractical. I understand why if you like... If you're a person who uses your bags a lot, especially in the parks, you probably won't take a lot of these cosplay ones because they're a little bit more delicate, but that's not me. Um, so this is like fur. And then uh, you've got, look at how sparkly the jewels are. And you've got just a cutout, Prince John. Oh, I didn't even see the back at first. And now I got to show you because I'm too distracted. Mommy. I've got a dirty thumb. Uh, I just read Don's Bluth's book about his take on this movie. Um, this was not too, too long before he departed Disney. And he has some interesting thoughts about not really liking it and kind of thinking that there wasn't really a bad guy and that he was too weak. And I don't disagree with what he's saying. I'm a big fan of Don Bluth, but he doesn't always get it right either. So there's that bit of information. So here's the inside. Okay. I've shown a lounge pad bag before, I swear. Let me take out a little more stuffy fluffy. All right, let's see if we can make that work. So there we go. It's just him and the jewels. Very cool. This was on sale. I imagine it probably wasn't too popular because, you know, it's a little bit of a niche film and I love that they're releasing a lot of this niche stuff. So he's gonna look good. You see these shadows up here? Those are shadows of lounge fly bags they have going across the wall. So he will find a nice new home. Oh, maybe I'm out of room. He'll find a nice new home. Um, okay, that was some magic mail. Uh, tell me down below, what was your favorite thing? Um, I, I can't pick, but what I will tell you is my favorite thing. All the people who send me things, all the people who offer trades, all the people who are looking out for my interest and doing park pickups for me and not overcharging things. Uh, I'm grateful to you. You help make this Disney community go around. So thank you. Thank you for the love. I could not be happier with all of it. So leave me a comment. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new. Let's get uh, our numbers up. I got a couple of giveaway ideas in mind. So you're definitely going to want to stick around for that. And I hope to see you soon on the next Disney afternoon.